Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ox Talks. It's Thursday, May 16, 2024. You guys are having a great day today, a fantastic week so far. I uh, couldn't get a video done yesterday. I wasn't really thinking when I closed out Tuesday's video. Yesterday was just a long day. Started out with a court appearance in the morning. That went long. I had back-to-back -back conference calls, and then I actually had a mediation that went about four hours right up to the time I had to leave here to grab my workout. So I had zero time to be checking the, uh, the markets yesterday, the news, and uh, keeping watch on what was going on. Just you know, didn't have time to check in with all of you yesterday. Appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel and supporting this community. Uh, we're small, but we are adding, we're growing. And my goal is just to come out here and share with you some thoughts several times a week, maybe give you a little different perspective uh, from uh, a lawyer, a business owner, someone who is in the trenches every day dealing with the uh, the realities of the economy from you know perspective of clients, uh, and business owners and realtors, doctors, other lawyers. You know, I have clients uh, that are in all aspects of professions, jobs, workers, contractors, construction uh, developers, you name it. So, I, you know, I'm constantly getting intel on what's happening. And I am getting the consensus now that people are experiencing, no surprise to any of us, just kind of confirms what we already know, experiencing a slowdown. Uh, my practice right now is not, but I'm not getting a ton of new cases in the door. I have a substantial backlog of work so I can go through very, very busy patches uh, without actually getting new work in the door. So I'll report uh, to you guys what I'm seeing in my business. Please share your comments below. Let me know what you're seeing in your area and more specifically in your work uh, and your business. I wanted to, uh, oh, well, hold on. As, as we discuss all the time on the channel, please like the videos. Uh, please share the videos with many people as you can so we can continue to wake people up about what's happening. Uh, I'm seeing a lot more people out in the last few days, large you know, figureheads, bankers, Jamie Dimon again. A lot of big heads are talking about the debt levels in this country being unsustainable and how this is going to lead down a road to disaster. We hear it all the time, right? I mean, uh, warning shots, it's easy to kind of disregard and uh, maybe, uh, let's say, kind of kick it under the rug. Maybe it doesn't, you say it doesn't pertain to you. But I want to share with you an article that I just saw a few minutes ago uh, that came out of Argentina. And you might say, well, what does that have to do with us? And, and it has a lot to do with us because we are very likely heading down this road, folks. And I was in Argentina. I'm going to share with you a, a couple of a, a personal story. Uh, I was in Argentina back many, many years ago studying some law there. And uh, I spent about eight weeks in that country in Buenos Aires and the surrounding areas. And it's a beautiful country, uh, wonderful people, uh, very healthy people at the time. Now, they've gone through a tremendous economic downturn uh, since I was there. But the point is, when you're in a different place, you're there. They're not different from you necessarily. When we're here and we're reading stories about something happening across the world, you might say, well, it doesn't matter. It can't impact us. And let me share the story with you. Uh, it says Argentina. Yearly, because we're talking about inflation in this country and how we're talking about you know inflation now hitting 3.6%. You know, the official numbers we all know, go look at shadow stats, John Williams. Uh, inflation is much higher than that, probably over uh, well into uh, double digits, 20% uh, higher. But uh, the official numbers, right, being 3.6% or whatever it is, not even compared to what we're seeing in Argentina. Yearly inflation hits, get ready for this, 290% as the monthly rate slows. What they're saying is the president of the country is being touted for bringing inflation down in the last couple of months. But the numbers are staggering. 
It says, although the yearly inflation rate is the highest it has been in decades, the monthly inflation figure decreased more than experts predicted. Javier, I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Malay, Malay's government has introduced strict austerity policies. It says inflation in Argentina slowed for the fourth consecutive month, despite an annual rate nearing 300%. Official data showed on Tuesday, the monthly inflation rate rose at 8.8% compared to eight, excuse me, compared to 11% in March. So we're talking uh, about numbers in this country substantially less than that. But this goes to show it can very well happen uh, when you have your currency devalued because of the amount of debt uh, in your system. And we are going down that road. This is seen as a victory, it says, for President Malay, who took office in December, with monthly inflation at a peak of over 25%, promising to address the rising costs, it says. The yearly inflation rate in April was at 289.4%, slightly higher than the annualized rate a month earlier, according to the INDEC statistics agency said. Uh, so what he's does, he's cut 50,000 public jobs, suspended new public works contracts, and did away uh, with fuel and other, uh, it says, transport subsidies. We all know how bloated and inflated uh, the government workforce is in this country. You got to wonder if that might do something to help uh, the, the inflation numbers here at home. It says these measures have been uh, praised by investors and the IMF, which on Monday announced an $800 million loan for Argentina. It says some, skeptic, some experts are skeptical, skeptical of the government's success pointing at the fall of private spending. Now listen to this. This is another, uh, let's say, consequence of what's going to happen. Uh, and you're already, you're already seeing it here in this country. You've had a massive collapse in private spending which explains why consumption has dropped dramatically and why inflation is also falling, said Monica DeBole, a senior fellow at the Peterson Institute for International Economics who studies emerging markets. People are worse off than they were before. That leads them to spend less. According to the official data, poverty levels are nearing 50%. In Argentina, amid a, amid a decline in economic activity and a fall in consumption. Well, I would imagine that, that amount of inflation, who could possibly afford to consume anything beyond what it would take to literally just keep you alive? Augustin Perez, 23, it says a supermarket worker in the suburbs of Buenos Aires saw his rent increase by 90% after Malay deregulated the real estate market as electricity bill rose by 300% since the government slashed subsidies. People are in pain, Perez told AP News Agency. They, are, they say things are getting better, but how, I don't understand. While inflation is decreasing, Argentina's GDP is expected to shrink by 2.8% this year, indicating a painful recession. Very, very sad set of circumstances for um, for that country, uh, and it it, it uh, there's a photo in in the article. I think you guys, let me show this. Can you see that where you have someone holding a stack of bills? And let me read you the the comment below. It says, last week Argentina introduced a ten thousand peso banknote worth the equivalent of about eleven dollars five times the face value of the previous largest 2,000 peso bill. So in the thumbnail, you saw me holding up a couple of these. Paper, it's all this paper, right? It's a nothing burger. Um, what is to say that this $100 bill wouldn't get turned into a $100,000 bill or a $1 million bill and buy you a loaf of bread? or not even be able to buy you a meal. I'm telling you guys, it, it, it's, it's coming in this country. I don't know if we're all going to see it in our lifetimes. We very well uh, may. 
You don't have people like Dalio and guys that run the largest banking institutions in this country sounding off alarms week after week after week about the debt levels in this country to Congress. And nobody seems to be doing anything about it. Nobody is trying to balance budget. Nobody is trying to do anything other than print money uh, and accumulate debt both in the government sector and the private sector, uh, from the consumers, uh, from the top down and bottom up. The debt levels are off the charts. So I was in uh, Argentina in 1993. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I had a friend of mine I was in law school with at the time, had family there. So we're able to actually go to school uh, for about eight weeks of classes. Uh, in Buenos Aires downtown, but we, but we were living outside the city uh, in the quote unquote country with his family. And so I got to experience, you know, the, the life there and really get ingrained in it and ride the public transportation, uh, engage with professors downtown. Uh, Buenos Aires was a very uh, upscale area at that time, a very wealthy, very wealthy people. Uh, I remember the, the nightlife and the restaurants and everything was just bustling. Uh, very, very happy uh, people, as I recall, and uh, much happier than the general, the folks generally were here in the United States when I was uh, back th those years uh, comparing it, okay? So I just remember thinking to myself, wow, everyone's healthy, everyone seems happy, uh, everyone seems to be to have a good job. Again, that was a ways back. So let me show this. I'm going to hold this up. Um, this was what I, uh, I don't know if you can see that. I just put a piece of tape over my last name, uh, which probably doesn't matter anyway. But uh, this is the plaque that I received. It's not to brag. I mean, I don't care. I just uh, want to share something with you. Uh, from Southwestern University School of Law, where I got my law degree, and the Schools of Law of Bel University of Belgrano and the University of Buenos Aires awards this certificate to Mr. Matt in recognition of completion of coursework in international business transactions and international environmental law in the law program in Argentina, given in Buenos Aires, Argentina, on the 16th day of July this was 1993. It was signed by three deans, the dean of my law school at the time, the dean of the University of Belgrano School of Law, and the dean of the uh, Buenos Aires School of Law. So, uh, you know, I was, uh, it, it was a great experience. It really was. But the point is, is that it's not that far from home. And you see a country going through something like that. It's very, very sad. And yes, we're all being burdened with higher prices at the pump. We're paying a tremendous amount more for food in the grocery stores. Now, and it's not good. We're not used to it. We're used to things being very, very affordable for the most part. So all I can say is we can complain all we want. Uh, you look at a country like Argentina and the people there uh, and the poverty rate now being 50%. It can happen here. Don't think for a second it can't. Everyone believes, well, this is America, it doesn't matter, it's not going to happen here. Uh, we have the printing press, and uh, I would uh, not be too sure about that. So what do you do? Uh, get yourself out of debt. Accumulate real assets. Have real things. Uh, this, you know, obviously you need this stuff to pay the bills. Got to have some of that stuff in the bank. Uh, and it is uh, it's paper. That's all it is. So it can easily be, and it is, each and every day being devalued right before our very eyes. It's buying less, and that's why things are costing more. So with that being said, I'll get off my rant today. I checked the markets, nothing I really cared about talking about. Walmart earnings, the market was a little bit down. Gold and silver were down a little bit. Uh, nothing that I thought was striking to me. So that was, that was my, my sharing, my show and tell, so to speak. Hope you enjoyed the content. I'll be leaving here in a little while to get a workout in today for an hour. I hope all of you will do the same. Get your steps in, do some cardio, strength training, push-ups, sit-ups, um, you know, just stuff to keep yourself healthier and watch the diet. Got to be a, a big component of our overall health. We have to get healthier as a nation, get stronger, more resilient, work on the immune systems. With that being said, I should be able to touch base with all of you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye.